Grizzly. So news has come out that T Grizzly's house was robbed about two weeks ago. They went into his house and they got away with a million in cash and about a million in jewelry. Law enforcement sources are telling TMZ they broke into a window and they end up going into the house no one was there when it happened so they got away with all that money this is everything to do with entitlement people feeling entitled to what you have they feel like they're entitled a lot of things plays into it nowadays what is really going on is people are becoming more dangerous than these crimes because people are the ones that are committing these crimes it's hard to avoid these people. There are many different things that plays in to these type of people, the evil people, the people that monitor you, monitor and spirits, different things. And I wouldn't even be surprised if it was people close to him that did that to him because they would have been the ones to know when he went out, when he's not there, when he's out, when he's here, when he's there, monitoring him, watching him, this and that. He'd probably be the ones, he's probably the ones telling them. And what if the unthinkable happened and you run up in someone's house with a mask on and then that person end up taking you out when you take the mask off it's your friend who you grew up with from time it's your friend we are living in the world of squid game we are living in a squid game world this is what it is right now and it don't even have to be that close when it's the people that are the same color as you when it's them type of people that's taking out the same people your own people it don't have to be that close and that's the crazy thing about it and going into people's homes right now is becoming more dangerous and then the law that's just been passed like i mean that law like what are they really saying because they're saying if someone was to live in your shed and all they can do is give them a fine and it's up to you to take whatever force is necessary what are they really trying to say what exactly are they telling you this is something else like, i couldn't even believe that bit. that's probably one of the scariest videos and that's why they're calling it the purge law it makes sense it all makes sense so with the t grizzly stuff now the t grizzly end up dropping a video now the day after pmb situation he paid tribute to PMB in that video and apparently they're saying PMB Rocky was an early attending T Grizzly engagement party that's the only reason why he was there so T Grizzly dropped that video now the next day but the interesting and weird thing about it is the story is about him taking out a girl and with the situation PMB Rock's girlfriend dropping the location and stuff like these different things like it's just crazy coincidences so T Grizzly now does the storytelling short film type music videos and when they say rappers are actors this is actually true because the acting that goes into the visuals and stuff like that takes a lot of time the acting the editing all the stuff it takes a lot of time so it's just a mad coincidence how the story was about him taking out a girl and who testified and then the tribute that was put in front of the video as well when you think of the situation going on with pmb's girlfriend where everyone is blaming her for it i mean it's legit detectives and stuff believe that it was because of that location being posted people saying it's not her fault even in that t Grizzly video as well talks about how you know he couldn't believe that she ended up surviving he time if it's not your time then it's not your time type thing when it comes to pmb's box girlfriend i mean looking at that video it just reminded me of her for some reason then in the right of as well they were talking about pmb how he tributed pmb in this video him and pmb rock his friends he was out there for him and stuff you know and then that girl wanted him to go to roscoe's like apparently she wanted him to go to roscoe's he didn't even want to go and then that situation ended up happening now people are saying it's not her fault she shouldn't be blamed people should stop wearing these expensive jewelries and expensive chain and stuff it is not her fault and stuff and then you know like i mean at this point she's probably in hiding she's probably so scared at this point she's probably so scared she's probably in hiding it's a lot like what is going to happen and then we all saw what kodak black say as well like what kodak said is something else like it's become so different in the world right now charleston white so it is being reported that charleston white in the leg he actually got himself in the leg and stuff they're saying this is being reported by multiple witnesses many people do not believe that he did that to himself you feel like you know that's just a decoy them saying he did it to himself they feel like someone did that to him you know charleston white he made the news the other day what he stand for all this stuff like this is crazy 
50. So 50 is suing this plastic surgeon that he took a picture with and she ended up posting the picture insinuating that he got penal enhancement. She hit him where it hurts and now he's suing her and dragging her on the internet. Barbie Smother, Barbie Smother right now. Barbie Smother is saying people are trying to stop his EP from coming out and stop him from making moves and stuff and trying to give him a bad name. There's a video that's going around of Barbie Smother in bed with a man. This is crazy. In bed with a man. It could be a photo sister. It could be a stunt. Bobby Smother is saying it's something else. It's something to do with the labels. People, is they're trying to, you know, take him down and all this stuff. And ever since he came out, you know, he's been acting really weird and stuff. And people have been saying he's a bit so. Like, the video just looks so real. Or am I confused? The video is so real. Like, is that not a real video? Or am I confused? I don't know. It could be AI. It could be a Who knows? But he's saying that they're trying to drag his name through the mud. They're dragging his name through the mud. All this stuff. Everything is crazy. The video doesn't really look edited. It doesn't look like his face is on AI or anything. It actually looks like he is there. And this is another thing that proves. This is proof of what they want you to do in the industry. For the beats, for the clout and stuff. This is proof of the stuff they want you to dabble with in that place. And that's why certain things we know, we all know certain things. This and that. It is something else. People are saying something happened to him when he was inside the cell and stuff they're saying he didn't deny it and all the paper he did come out and say that this is something that they are doing he feels like you know his ep and all of it is coming out and the industry is trying to make him have a bad name they're trying to give him a bad name he come out and he's saying you know how the industry works and stuff and i mean it's crazy the thing is the video doesn't look edited and it could be like and i mean bobby smother's personality it could be something that he was just doing for all the fun and all the stuff or you know for the fun and everything but the fact that it was put out that way and then posted by the person that is just crazy you can just tell like something is off here something is odd about this this is odd literally this is what they do in the industry this is what they want you to dabble with like this is not the first time we have seen this this is not the first time it will happen and that's just something that's just part of being in the industry at this point it is all part of being there we have but I was just bumping, man. <laughs> I know I said I was going to 